Uh, so last time we ended a little bit early because we had uh, actually a crash uh, after we did the peace deal. Um, and then after like trying to do it uh, off camera, I had a bit of problems there because the AI decided to do a completely different peace deal with the Blue Nation over here, which caused some issues. So what I did is I loaded up from the auto save at 1st of January. And then what I did is I hopped on to Trebizond to offer the peace deal. AI to accept all the demands and you know that way we got the same peace deal just a little bit earlier than uh, previously but that shouldn't really be that big of an issue but I have noticed that Mamluks are actually friendly to us so it's not that far off from potentially being an ally so what I'm thinking of doing is actually asking for military access from them and they do accept that now I'm wondering mm. if we could actually no we don't oh right we got Conquest Casperelli on Sarbadar. Oh, right, we did get the claim over there. Right, we'll see how well that goes. Um, we do have potential rebellion down there, but I don't think it's going to be too bad right now. Although I did also realize that, well, we don't have a lot of money right now, but once we do, we might want to invest in, I think it was Hammerdown, which had a lot of. Oh, there for Calvinism. Oh, right, and it's now spawned in a different location. It's 18,000 residents, so we could get some knowledge uh, production in here or improve it by opening up the higher education. We don't have the cash for it right now. Another thing is that there is um, a fair bit of farmlands in here that could be expanded in. And if I remember the labor price of it, well, it is over, f or the labor cost per unit is about a four and a little bit. So it's not too bad. We could easily like invest a little bit on the farmlands here, for example and slowly start improving the wealth down here in the south as well but if we could manage to get Mamluks as an ally that would kind of um, protect our western flank for the most part and that would kind of open the door to the east quite nicely of course there is no guarantee that Trebizond and Mamluks wouldn't end up in a, a fight again but it's not really that likely judging by the fact that um, Mamluks don't have any claims on Trebizond now Trevison does have a claims. Actually, I don't know if Trevison has claims on them either. <laughs> we do have. Oh, right. We could get a claim on Mamluks, but that's probably not something that we should do right now. Have we lost the claims? Or do we just have so much? We probably just have enough uh, spy network in there. And these two, we already have claims. We can't claim any further. All right. Now, one thing that we could do, uh, because uh, Corset is currently allied to Mamluks. And we won't be able to fight them if we manage to ally the Mamluks. Is uh, attacking Fadl, but Fadl does have a pretty strong ally in the south. Um, which one is it? This one. Oh, there's your capital. Okay. So they got twenty-five thousand soldiers, of which is probably mostly well, a decent chunk is no doubt horses. So we got three cores that we're making down here in the south. So there's a load of getting a lot of um, sort of territory in here, which I do like. Also, Con wasn't that? Oh yeah, it's a gold province. Oh, tax relief ended. Right. Uh, it is not one of the silk growth things though. I believe Tehran is, which is, I suppose, Ray. Yeah, that's got one. And then there's more to the south. Is there room for the gold mines to be expanded? Um. Or mines to There's a lot of bit of room in there. Because we don't really have the cash right now to do that. But in the future, it's possible. I think I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the knowledge output in here. Um, <laughs> ah, learning. There we go. Because the knowledge tends to be fairly valuable. If you have a look at this area, it's. Yeah, it's pretty decent price, actually. But that's going to increase our economy a little bit. Also, we're getting now 0.73 ducats per month. Of course, now that the tax relief has ended, how is the stability going? Uh, is it going down? It is. It's going down quite a bit, so we may need to extend the temporary tax relief then. Yeah, we can probably afford that. Not necessarily the best, but we're just trying to stick to the plus one stability, because if we drop below... Um, the dis- or the disaster- oh, it's not actually trying to fire right now. Huh. 
interesting. It might appear again if we go below one stability, to be fair. But like, it, what I've heard it is really bad. Also, another thing that I could do now is I was going to give these two to Ossetia, wasn't I? They're not necessarily all that well-developed province, but they're not the worst either. So if we go to subjects, Ossetia, Grand Province, Abyssinia. All oh, right, it does lower the liberty side even further, and then Grand Province, uh, Circassia. So it's only 10% liberty side now. And you know, they'll hold that area because we didn't have um, any communications efficiency in there, so the actual benefits from those promises would be really, really small. So this way, they'll get a bit more, they'll pay us a bit more in taxes later on. And also, it gives the... like, no one can really attack directly me. Of course, well, Ossetia is very much protected by us. But there is that, of course. Now, I suppose another thing that we should do, perhaps, is um, either get more harborages down here for the Black Sea coast, or... There's also a bit of pathing that we sincerely lack in there. But, like, harborages, pathing... And getting the ships. Of course, we also lack a lot of money on actually building up the amenities in our capital. Because that one also needs uh, to be done. And then we need to have the capital built at some point. Just so that we can get the communication efficiency, generally speaking, a little bit better at least. How is it? Okay, so we're 29 development still. Um, how are the... Yeah, it is spreading. Okay, because it's just trading with another place. So we might actually get the Colombian impulse in here first. Which would actually be quite nice, but yeah, the commercialization is still taking a long while, so there's a few things that we need to do about that. Um, one, we need to start lowering the nobility's power, which is 90% right now. Wow. We really need to start digging into that one. The problem is that we don't have a, that much loyalty right now, and I believe we've got a lot of the things to... Okay, there's expanded authority, but that's not that. Promote less nobility. That's a pretty bad one for the prestige, and that gives them plus one power yet. Oh, right, and that's going to take another four years before it wears down or expires. So, yeah, we need to wait a little bit on that. Then we've got the enforce obligations, which increases the levies. Um, at least we got the tax relief. I believe at some point it is not going to be good for us anymore. Assuming that we can get through the first hurdle of um, getting the nobility, actually, be nobility instead of uh, January. It's probably not how to pronounce it, but regardless. Uh, we're getting about 0.9 ducats now, so even though our... Oh, right, we're rooting out a lot of corruption still. Plus, we're basing, uh, paying a lot of uh, things. We might actually lower this a little bit. Right, we'll just uh, keep the corruption right now as it is, which isn't necessarily good for us, but it's going to save us a decent bit of cash, which should allow us to start investing in some provinces like Hamadan and a few others that I'm pretty sure could uh, easily have a lot more production of uh, many different types, in fact. And Kordistan is now 2.7. Uh, is that improving any further? Uh, we could probably close that one. We do have a level 1 garrison there, at least. Of course, we have no pathing or anything else in there. Um, there's probably not a lot of... Well, there's a decent bit of peasants in there. Oh, hold on a minute. What sort of mines do we have in here? Coal. Okay, so that's not a thing that we can open yet. And there was room for a lot of... Okay, so there's basically just rural stuff in there. We could open up some of the foresters, because there is a lot of room for foresters in there. Maybe opening up the game or something like that in there. So hunting would actually be quite good. Oh, it is wooded mountains. It kind of makes sense that it's um, it's a lot of uh, woodlands there then. Right, so something like that over here in Cordes. Now, although Cordes now might not be the best one for that. Is this one any better? There's a lot of big foresters in there. We could invest in the farmers in here. What sort of mines is there? There's metals. Oh. There are metals. Isn't too bad in terms of... Actually, what's the labor cost in here? The nomads. So first on the list is the crops. So it would be about... Around four ducats per unit of labor. But that's actually decent enough. We could invest some mines into there. But we could certainly do that wait until the next month at least so that we don't run entirely out of money just mostly out of money so next year that's going to start getting a little bit more stuff in there so we'll do some of the investments manually i think that's going to be a good uh, compromise instead of uh, putting everything into the auto investments so that we can you know slowly get a little bit more wealth going into those provinces especially oh wow Ossetia now has eleven thousand men drilling there 
That is quite a boon for our military. My goodness. First Liberation Army. Hmm. Should I be worried about that? Right, so the inflation is going down. We've got 500 and... Or 535, sorry. Um, development total, which isn't too bad. Uh, I don't suppose there's any reforms that we could do right now. No, not really. We do that one. I mean, we would have to do the... Oh, right. Was there any... Actually, I think one thing that I did want to do... Console, uh, consolidate Holdings. Now, if we do this, it's going to... Um... Yeah, it's minus 50 loyalty, so we can't actually do that right now. But that's some, something to keep in mind. And the other one is the empower, or empower Autonomy. If we get rid of this one, or get to the next one. Realm Indifference is minus 40. It would be pretty bad, although it would increase the welfare by 2. Now, of course, we could perhaps increase the loyalty by a little bit, get up to 30. But I'm not going to do that this month. I'll have a look at the stuff in here, and we can't uh, click that button again until, uh, well, this might as well, there we go. Uh, so we could arrange the marriage for seven points. Unpopular relative would be another seven and a half points, so that would be 15 points. Uh, grand celebration we can't afford. Uh, we could promote the faction, which would give it 15, but that would give them so much influence that I'd rather avoid that. Um, you know what, I'm not going to do the thing yet, so in theory we could get 20 with these three. And of course there's the overlook tenant abuse and such that will also help a little bit, but those I can't do yet. But yeah, that way we'd be able to get at least, two. Let, let's see, with 20 extra we'd get to 28, uh, well, lower the autonomy, which is, autonomy from noble power would be really good because they got so much power that the, basically we just be able to lower the effectiveness of their power, or like uh, the effects on our autonomy and such would be at least uh, somewhat better. But yeah, economy isn't great, but I wonder actually, we're still trying to improve relations with Mamluks. I wonder if it's it should be improving our opinion of them as well. And if that's the case, then we should be able to maybe, just maybe get it to a point where we can actually make an alliance with them. Let's have a look. So they really like, oh, I could make an alliance now. Oh yeah, improvements. So relations have been improved. Yeah, I'll take it. There we go. I can't, of course, um, marry them, but that's probably not an issue. But that is definitely kind of covering our western flank there, which means that we're going to start focusing into south and east for now. And then, of course, we're all city are grown. That's going to kind of guard our north flank at least a little bit. Not really sufficiently. How much are the Ossetians actually paying us now? Um, point 0.18, so it basically doubled the money that we're gaining from them by giving them to those two provinces. Although the liberty design has increased a little bit, which is a bit unfortunate, but okay. And <laughs> character unit still has plus 80% from the Enforced Religion. Once that uh, expires, uh, then we should be able to make them like us again and have them help us in situations. Uh, we don't really need the spy network in Turkish Empire anymore, do we? There's not really anything that I can claim from... Well, actually, I could claim over here, I suppose. But no, I don't think we need that spy network. I suppose what we could switch to is... Oh, right, actually. What I should be doing is mark these as provinces of interest. So that Ossetia will start claiming those. And that way we can perhaps do a war over here. Because... Oh, right, they are Division of Turkish Empire, so that's going to be difficult. Oh, there we go. Uh, noble concessions expired and overlook tenant abuse expired. So now, in theory, we would be able to get the nobility's loyalty high enough. But at the same time, they're still getting so much power that we should not do that quite yet. Because there's so many things in there that will increase the power. So we'll just, you know, let it simmer a little bit, like, uh, get some of the things going. Now, one thing that I have noticed is if we have a look at the assessing power over here. So nobility's power, the resting point is supposed to be 45%. But of course, since we've been doing so many things to support them over the years here, that it's just kept it at least like 80%, which is starting to hurt us quite a bit. So I think, actually, um, rural governance is 35% in there. Right, and that's the, yeah, that one. But yeah, promote less nobility is 
plus 1% of power per year, and it's not going to expire until two years from now, or three years from now, I believe. Uh, what? Yeah, it's September 23, so we'll probably have to wait at least until then, and maybe a little bit further than that before we go that route. Now, one thing that we could do in the meanwhile is start working on improving the burkers power, because we would preferably like to get the commerce up to level 8, because that would mean that we'll be gaining a lot more of the uh, commerce actually spreading in our nation. Plus, you know, it's ideal burger size goes up, commerce production goes up, and base compensation goes up, and a bit more uh, burger commerce income transfer to local tax income, so it's actually all good. Uh, right, so let's go ahead and... Support burger autonomy, that does mean that the stability is potentially going to start dropping again. But their loyalty goes up, so it's not necessarily all that bad. Of course, if need be, we can do the... Well, actually, no, we can't really afford doing the bread thing quite yet. But we'll see. Now, there's also, I suppose, quite a few things have expired, so... I don't know if the stability is actually going down or up right now. Uh, it is going down rather quickly, okay. So, it is going to drop to zero this year, so I suppose we'll wait until it's at least zero. Oh, bubonic plague, right in the middle of our lands. Okay, well, that is horrible news. What are we building in here, anyway? A garrison, I mean, that's okay. Oh, garrison level 4, oh yeah, that's actually really good. Making the kind of heartlands over here be really defended. Oh, no, Cessia now has 12,000 men. Oh, <laughs> they are building a massive army. It's almost enough to rival mine. Because we could actually expand our army a bit further. Let's go ahead and get at least the 10th infantry regiment in there. Plus we got the drill modifiers to be... Oh, state sponsor commerce has expired. That means... Actually, I don't know if it's going to mean more trade income. I mean, it's both of it is. How much of it is going to be, I don't know exactly, but we'll see. But of course, that means that the commerce output is going to be a bit less. So that is going to hurt us. Um, okay, so we do have pretty decent stuff over here, but I suppose it's still not spreading the commercialization into this province. No. Well, that is a bummer. And let's just double check that the casual literacy hasn't... Oh wait, no, it's Colombian Impulse. Right, not the casual literacy. Colombian Impulse are almost in here. Let's see, so... Spread has commercialization present. Has a port and trade value over 4. Or at least has a trade value... Okay, I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty in here. If we could embrace even this one, that would already help with some of the text. Although, actually, uh, no, it's not affecting any of these yet. But we need to get the commercialization and cash literacy. But actually, what are the effects from the Colombian impulse? Rule production efficiency plus 1%. Ah. I mean, that's not bad. Per se. But yeah, now we're together with Ossetia, assuming that we can keep them loyal enough. That's already 30,000 men in just the two of us. Oh, and there goes the stability. Let's have a look. Is the disaster actually firing? Oh, yeah, it will. So it's just hidden in the body fires there. Uh, right, well. Common interactions. I mean, there's a few things over here that we could perhaps do. Well, it's basically just the grain for commoners, I suppose. If we do that, that would get at least to plus one again. That is going to be very costly, isn't it? Maybe we could go for a little bit less ambitious. Maybe the minor one. No, well, that wouldn't necessarily be enough. Let's have a look. Actually, how much do we need to have the... ability? I mean, it's probably going to start going up again next year. Let's have a look. Because it's uh, taking the modifiers from the start of the year, which means that we were at plus one. So stability increase interval. It's 44% right now. How much is it from current stability? Uh, it's actually 102%. Um, hmm... Not entirely sure. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. There's, there's a lot of current stability, current stability, current stability things in there, so it might actually be sufficient for it to start growing next year again. So we'll just keep an eye on it. I'm not going to spend the money quite yet, at least. The disaster is not going to hit anytime soon, because we've got pretty decent stats overall, I suppose. And we'll, like, we'll be able to kind of um, ride the wave, so, so to speak. Of that and just make sure that it doesn't actually fire. Right, looming disaster was getting only half a point per year. Alright. 
not too bad. So we've got the claims over here on these two provinces. How long do we have? Oh. Oh. Colombian impulse has appeared in Debrent. Also, it grows and embraces it when it has spread through our nation. Okay, so let's have a look. Is it now spreading to everywhere in the surroundings? It is. At least a little bit. So. Oh, that's almost got on it as well. The British is getting it soon. Amadan is getting it soon. We can't embrace it yet. Right. Um, can we see how much it's going to cost? It's going to be several hundred ducats, so... Yeah, we won't be able to get that yet. But that would actually be quite nice in the long run. We've got the... I suppose we've got... Hold on a minute. Oh, we're down to one... Right. Down to one missionary, and the other one is doing the conversions in some ketty already. Interesting. Right, I mean, we are converting the province already. Although it's only 29% orthodox. I believe we're trying to go to 90%, so it is going to take a while. But that will mean that this gold province would be pretty much permanently orthodox. Or at least until someone else takes over. Which is hopefully not going to happen. Master about over here. Who are you allied to? Turkish Empire and Sabir. Right, well, you don't have small allies, do you? Right, well, that might be an issue. So I guess... Oh, Genoa Republic. Refugees have arrived from Genoa seeking an audience with the Mepe. It seems that they were forced out by Doge of Genoa in Coupe de Dance. A base attempt to seize power and declare himself a monarch. Now I guess they're begging us to invade their homeland. Also the usurper restore the Genoese Republic. Right. Um, so Genoa is now no longer a republic? No, no, the Republic. I have not seen that event before. As we fear, the fact that we gave Abyssinia and Circassia to Ossetia technically should have improved the average um, autonomy that we have. Not really massively, but like, it's 84%. They may have gone down a little bit. Turkish Empire has warned us not to go right, at war with any countries. Okay. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Other than the fact that they already annexed uh, Crimea. Can I, by chance, try to ally Mamluks? Not, not Mamluks, Commonwealth. It's probably not impossible. Go ahead and start improving relations with them, at least. Perhaps that way we can get another strong ally to fight the Turks with. I mean, how strong is Mamluks, actually? 21,000 plus a lot from their vassals. Um, the Turks have 28,000. Hold on. Okay, yeah, there's a difference of 7,000 men between those two, but of course, um, Turkish Empire does have some vassals, or at least the division over here, and Athens, and potentially some others. I believe got, they got some tributaries as well. They've got a handful of tributaries and basically two vassals. And they do also have some allies, but like it's not necessarily that bad. Like, we could beat them, but at the same time, uh, fighting another war and the Ottomans at the same time it might be difficult, especially if we can't bring in the Mamluks into that war, which is n definitely not guaranteed. Um, so we can see that the, yeah, Colombian impulse is present. Casual literacy is not spreading in there because we don't have uh, legalism and commercialization in here. We do have legalism, we just don't have the commercialization yet. It is pretty, like it should be here present in somewhere around 1550, so about 30 years from now, unless we can speed that up, which might be a bit difficult. Uh, did we start the autonomy from, yeah, urban autonomy, yeah. So that is going to increase the worker power a little bit. We need to get it at least to 30, and then we need to get the metropolitan influence up. But yeah, that's actually not that bad. I thought it would be a lot harder. I mean, getting to 30 burger power is going to be difficult. And the average autonomy is now going down again. That's really good. But we still need to wait for the nobility's power to start dropping drastically. Otherwise, we are going to be in trouble. Now, we could, of course, leverage Italy to reduce their power, but I don't know if that's the best idea. It would be the fastest uh, way, of course, but... Oh, there we go. Rufus Sarbadan has ended. So, if, in theory, we were to declare war on here, would... Ottomans join in this? I don't think they would. It would be only 9,000. Uh, if we do the Holy War, it would be 90% cost for all provinces. So actually, that would be quite nice. How do we have the Holy War thing? 
Do we by chance have the... No. Is it just because they're a different religion? I don't know. It's definitely not because Alberto. On the other hand, I'll, I'll take it. But yeah, we could uh, probably conquer a decent bit of land in here. Oh, right. Could we actually... Well, we haven't got on the claim here yet. But that's something that we probably do want to claim. And maybe we'll just wait a little bit longer with the wall decoration. Or wall decoration, not wall decorations. 